Hi there, it's Vic Veer here again, and this is another short operative video for you. This time I'm going to tell you all about radiofrequency ablation and what it can do for your nasal breathing. These boggy swellings here on the left of the screen are called turbinates, and they often swell up and block your nose, particularly in people who have hay fever or allergic rhinitis. This technique helps to dehydrate the turbinates and scar them down, so they don't swell up again and block your nose. When I say dehydrate, I mean remove the water from them. It's a bit like removing the water from grapes so they can become raisins. The structure is still there, but you have less volume, which means you can breathe around it. Here you can see the turbinate shrinking down in real time, and you can already see that the nasal airway has opened up and this patient can already breathe better. Because you aren't actually removing any tissue, this operation can be performed under local anaesthetic, which means you're completely awake, and most people can go home in an hour or so after the operation. The other advantage is that you don't get something called empty nose syndrome from this technique, like you do from several other turbinate type operations. Empty nose syndrome is what happens when you completely remove the turbinates and the nose feels completely blocked up even though there is no blockage there at all. You can see at the back of the nose you can be a little bit more aggressive with that area which is what we call the mulberry end and really shrink this down completely. Now this video is many months later and I'm sorry about the quality of the video here but you can see that the turbinates have not grown back at all. Many of the other forms of turbinate operation result in a relapse and return of the blocked nose within a few months or so. You can see that this isn't the case with this technique. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found it informative. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more information and videos about snoring and sleep apnea, as well as opening up the nose.